Does God exist? Many atheists think there's no reason to believe in God because we have science to explain everything in the universe. It's true that science is able to explain the natural world, that's what it's for, but by definition science cannot tell us whether there's anything outside or above the natural world, in other words, whether there's anything supernatural. Generally, when people speak of God, they mean a supernatural, all-knowing mind who is everywhere and can do anything. So what is math and what does it have to do with God? Math is about numbers and information about those numbers and ways numbers connect to each other, but where do we find all this math? We can't see math, we can't touch math, we can't taste math. Math is only in the mind. We find it simply by thinking about it and figuring more and more things out. But wait, math also explains things. Math can explain everything, from simple counting to the movement of planets. For any thing you can think of, there's a bunch of math that explains what's going on, even down to the atomic level. So, if math is only in our minds, but it also explains the natural world, then where does it come from? There's two possibilities, really. One is that math is just something we invented to explain what we observe in the natural world, and that would mean the origin of math is natural. But the other possibility is that math is already there because it controls the universe, and we've discovered it. And if that's true, then the origin of math is supernatural. Here's why the latter option is correct. Math contains infinite information. There's an infinite number of numbers, each with their own individual properties. And there's an infinite number of numbers in between any two numbers. And we keep discovering things. Pi, which is the number that explains the area of a circle, has an infinite number of digits that we keep discovering by doing calculations. If we were just making this stuff up, we could make pi be whatever we want it to be, but we can't do that because we know that that's not true. We know that all this information is out there somewhere, but it can't be in our physical universe because our universe is finite and math is infinite. That means math contains every possible combination of numbers, and if we use numbers as code for letters, then math contains every possible combination of letters as well. That means every book that has ever been written already exists encoded in math somewhere. In fact, every book that possibly could be written already exists in math. And if we use numbers as code for particles and their locations, then you could say there's an exact copy of our universe encoded in math. But there's also more stuff in math, so that's why math can't possibly be contained just within our universe. But that's just the beginning. There's many pieces of evidence in math to show that math has a designer. Here's an example. One time someone discovered that this simple equation makes a very interesting shape when you graph it in the complex plane, and this is called the Mandelbrot set. But people have analyzed this shape and have found some very scary things about it. What's amazing about the Mandelbrot set is that you can zoom in infinitely and you'll keep finding new things. Over here you can keep finding more and more copies of the Mandelbrot set no matter how far you zoom in. You could even zoom in really close to something like this, and it takes a while, but look, there's another little baby Mandelbrot set. Alternatively, you could go into this region and find completely different things. On the left side of this thing, you'll find these weird elephant-shaped things that have spirals that go on forever, and you could even zoom into the side of one of the spirals and find new spirals that repeat infinitely and keep generating new infinite patterns like this. Or you could go on the other side of the elephants and find these weird seahorse-shaped things that have different kinds of spirals that are connected to each other, and once again, they keep going on forever. You can zoom in infinitely, and you'll keep finding new patterns, but like I said, it's a different type of pattern. Seriously, any time you explore the Mandelbrot set, you can find brand new things, possibly things that no human has ever seen before, because like I said, there is infinite complexity and infinite information in this one shape. That's why this little shape is so scary. We did not invent this because we discovered it by accident, but we did not discover it in our universe. It has infinite complexity, so it can't possibly be in our universe because the universe doesn't have infinites. We discovered it just by calculating it. So where the heck did this thing come from? Basic common sense says that someone designed this, but no human designed it. Like we said, math only exists in the mind, so its origin must also be a mind. Math contains infinite information, so this mind must be all-knowing. Math controls the universe, so this mind must also be all-powerful. And math is beyond and outside of our natural world, so this mind must be supernatural. And we have just described God. All these numbers and mathematical facts exist in the infinite mind of God, but it's not just mathematical truth that exists in the mind of God, but also moral truth and any kind of truth at all. 
Goodness, truth, and beauty are just mere opinions of the human mind, unless there is a supreme mind, God, who overrules all human opinions. Because math is beyond time, space, and limits, the existence of math proves the existence of God because math is in the mind of God. As the great scientist Galileo said, math is the language with which God has written the universe.